Hi, and welcome to the Newcastle Farmers Market located on Route 13 and 273, what we call Harris Corner for you folks coming over from New Jersey, Philadelphia area. Real easy to get to. Just go to the Newcastle County Airport. Right across the street, you're going to find the Newcastle Farmers Market. When you're talking about Newcastle Farmers Market, I always like to remind people about the Dutch section that you added on here. I, I, it seems like yesterday, but it's been quite a few years now. Yeah. Um yeah, it has been several years, Tim, and uh, as you can see, we're uh, we're kicking here on Friday. Uh, you know, everyone's open, and there's there's people coming in for lunch, and um, you know, I, we got a lot of regulars in this little section uh, as well as the rest of the market. But uh, you know, the the Stoltzfus sausage sandwiches are, are something that people have been coming here for 30 years, if you can believe that. Um, and then you know, there's always some some new things we add. The donuts are, are fairly young, but they're so popular, and people are coming here every weekend to get these delicious homemade fresh donuts. They're out of this world. If you haven't tried them, you got to do it. Um, you know, even if you're bringing them to some people, you know, you get guys coming in here and getting a couple dozen. They bring them to the work site for Fridays, and uh, so yeah, I mean, there, this is a, a great time of year. The summer, we have uh, all the fresh produce coming in from Lancaster County. Um, uh, J and J Goodhart Produce down here has their fresh corn starting. Well, we're going to we're gonna visit all. We're going to try to visit all those different ones. Right now, you're kind of watching donuts being made, is it? Because that's our cameraman's favorite place to stop. He's trying to. I think he's trying to get free donuts. What he's trying to do, but when you talk about Newcastle Farmers Market, I want people to understand this is the traditional farmers market of Delaware. I mean, this has been here for over 50 years now, and 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 when you talk about this one, it's a little bit different than other farmers market because you've got to start off on the outside where I always start off, and you got to talk about the flea market part of it because a lot of people come just to visit that flea market each and every week. And when I say that, if you've got a versus this time of year, a lot of people having garage sales, Greg, versus having a garage sale where you got to put up signs, run ads, and all that kind of stuff. You rent some space out here, you got thousands and thousands of people come through here each and every week to check out what's happening out at the flea market. Yeah, I just uh, picked. Up a, I just picked up a fishing pole last week, actually, and uh, it costs a lot less than it would have if I bought it new, and it works just the same. Um, and, you know, there's just little things out there that you can get that are no no better than something you buy in a store that's brand new. Um, you know, from lawn equipment to uh, you know to outdoor like you know fishing gear, um, and just like you know knickknacks, and, and even like just pots and pans, and just like refurbished old school kind of cookware, um, clothes, and just all sorts of stuff. So if you've never really walk the flea market it's fun just to do that you know, there's something for everyone out there yeah, and you got a lot of antique dealers that go out there because you'd always find these deals out there too so you know if you're interested in that you, you know that and I love that stuff, so I, I enjoy doing that before I come inside. But I want to remind everybody, when you're talking about the Newcastle Farmer's Market, because the unique thing about this is it's only open for your convenience, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday and Saturday, 9 to 9, Sunday, 10 to 6. Oh, now, Sunday, su Sunday, Sunday's not, hey, I thank you so much, but uh, when you're talking about Sunday, the Dutch section is closed. Uh, yep, the Dutch section is closed on Sundays. Most everyone knows that. Um, uh, but they're here Friday and Saturday, 9 to 9, both days. And then the, the rest of the market is open uh, three days a week, like you mentioned. Uh, so, you know, lots lots here to do on Sunday as well. We have, um, you know, restaurants um, that are open uh, Sunday. And we added a new restaurant that we talked about in one of the shows, uh, uh, a, taco, a new taco stand. Um, so we're always, there's always something new every year, you know. And, um, you know, we're, we're not stopping with change changing things up and uh you know, it's really, it makes the flavor uh, better, you know, for people who come a lot and every weekend it's something different. Yeah, and when you're talking about the Newcastle Farmer's Market, you're strolling through the, new, there, you can find anything and everything shop-wise inside. A lot of people come over here even every week for meats from the sofas because they've got some of the best meats, you know, it's all fresh and everything else. And then you got to talk about the, you know, fruits and vegetables. you got stands at both ends, including in the Dutch section, you got a stand there. So you got three fruits and vegetable stands well, now. I think that's a huge draw here. I mean, and most people, you know, that shop here come here specifically for the produce and that's where the only place they get their produce uh, because one it's cheap and it's in and it's fresh and it's um, you know high quality and you know it's it's you can't compare the prices and that's the draw I mean that's what brings a lot of people in here and and they know how to do it right if you've been if you shop here before you'll know what I mean and you can find things that you just can't find elsewhere in stores so a lot of um, you know there's a lot of ethnic foods here that you just can't find at your local grocery store and people come for it and 
and, um, and that's why it's successful and that's why it works. Yeah, and then you talk about the restaurants, and I'm telling you, I don't care what your cuisine is, whatever you're looking to have, you're going to find it here in Newcastle Farmers Market. I want to talk walk around a corner here, Greg, as I remind everybody, Friday and Saturday, 9 to 9, Sunday, 10 to 6, but I wanted to get this because this is a brand new uh, Malsa kitchen, and, and, and when I say that, it, it, like you said, you're always adding something different, and this is a little bit different, Indian food. Yeah, it's uh, Indian food, and they have other items on their menu, too, that aren't you know necessarily Indian like they're they're starting up a new baked potato and they, they have like a good falafel sandwich that they're gonna start soon but yeah this is um, you know Indian cuisine it's all vegetarian um, and they uh, really put out a good product um, and you know a lot of people um, who haven't tried Indian food before should definitely stop by and, and try it out um, they're real nice folks. Um, they're brand new here, and we're real excited about having them. It's something really different, and uh, we're, we're hoping for good success for them and for the market. For folks out there that are looking to find out a little bit more about this restaurant, they can visit our website, um, newcastlefarmersmarket.com, and we have uh, information about them uh, on our tenant listing and all the other stores, phone numbers, uh, upcoming information. You know, Tim, we have music out here every couple weeks. We have uh, uh, face painting, and we have things for the kids to do. Um, it's family oriented, and that's what's nice about the market. When you're talking about coming out to the market, because if you we're talking about food and everything else, I want people to understand it's not just food. I don't care what you're looking for. This is uh, you know been here another mainstay here in the market. These guys have been here. You know, you talk about the stove for sausage sandwich. These guys have been here just as long selling shoes, and I don't care what kind of shoes you're looking for. They've got those. Then you got the sock outlet. You got clothes galore. You've got appliance. Yeah, anything and everything. Furniture stores. You know, it's all here in the Newcastle Farmers Market. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Cohen's Furniture has been here for several years, and, uh, and, and you know, the, like this particular uh, store, J&L Shoes, they've been here for um, over 20 years, and it just says a lot about th them as, as, you know, merchants who have a store here and how they treat their customers and how they deal, because they've been successful for that long, and it says something about just prices and competition, and people, like, know these little stores exist, they come here, because they know price, price, yeah, price. Price is great. The cut, the service is great, and it's a, and it's experience just to come here. You know, not just to buy one thing, but to walk around the market, grab a bite to eat. Um, you know, visit your favorite stores and try something new like this uh, restaurant here. And, and of course, check out the market stage, which is down there each and every week. You've always got something happening on the market stage area, whether it's a nonprofit organization sitting there, like you've had blood. You know, the, the people from Christiana Care out there doing blood pressure and things like that. You you always have something going on in that area. Yeah, and we have a calendar of uh, events that are going on at the market on our website that you can go visit and see what's happening, and you can check and see when the next face painting and magic shows go on. Uh, you know, we're getting, we're going to, before we know what the summer will be gone, we have our big fall festival that's coming up in October, um, so we're excited about that. It's been a success, and people love to come here. We have, like, real horses giving people buggy rides, um, so, you know, there's always seasonal things that are going on. Um, this is, a, you know, a little bit of a slower time, probably, because people are heading down to the beach and they're vacationing so we're not we don't have as many people here but it's such a great time to get like those things for your summer barbecue I mean Stoltzfus meets over here and, and you know maybe we'll get a shot at some of the things they're doing I mean they have just like the best stuff to grill I mean from their chicken sausage to their regular sausage different flavors they have you know marinated kebabs they just have so many great things like they have hamburgers all different kinds made up ready to go home and grill out um, so yeah you, I mean if you're it's fresh, fresh. Party, oh, they make it like right during the, in the morning. I mean, they make their patties, they do it all, and they're, it's out there, it's beautiful looking, it's uh, high quality, delicious, and um, you know, not what you can get at your typical grocery store at all. I mean, it's very, very custom kind of uh, groceries shopping here for some stuff, for sure. Yeah, and it's all right here at Newcastle Farmers Market. Once again, Route 13, right across the street from Newcastle County Airport, so if you're coming over from New Jersey or anywhere, I-95 will bring you right in to, you know, and just follow the, the signs to Newcastle County Airport, and you're you're going to find a Newcastle Farmer's Market right across the street from it. So I want to step inside because this is new to me. Now, Greg, he got in here a little bit earlier and, and orders us some things because you, 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 you must have eaten here a couple times already. Now, this is a gentleman coming out here. This is, we're not going to eat any of this because you, you kind of have this out so you kind of explain to the people uh, what, what different cuisine that you have here, D.C. Let's, let's talk about some of this. Now, what are we looking at here? Uh, this is the masala kitchen thali. It's a kind of a 
full meal or it is a platter it will make you little bit full but it's not like a really full so that when you go to the work you feel like a dizzy or something like that or need to take a nap so the portion is enough sufficient for you to make you a little bit full so it's a hundred percent vegetarian so it's made up with the two flat breads a rice two types of the vegetables every friday saturday and sunday we have the different vegetables to go and i have the Lentin soups, uh, different lentin soups on the Friday, Saturday and Sundays. It comes with uh, salads, little bit of the salads and it comes with Indian style pickles. So this will make you a little bit full, uh, really like uh, nice and good portions. Yeah, when I'm, I'm sitting here looking at it because I thought it was different things, but this is actually a platter that you would come in and order and, and this is this would be a meal in itself, all this. Yes, yes it is a meal by itself, so it's really good for like if you want it during the dinner time, it's good. If you want it during the lunch time, it is good for you. It means it's a enough portions for a person, a average person, to make it full. Yeah. Now I'm I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this because I, I love rice and I, I you know it, everything here. But a lot of folks don't like the the hotness of uh, curry. Now, can you special order it to you know to, to your tastings? My like around 90% customers are the American customers. Those are means they may not like a really spicy thing. So whatever the food we are making it, it's not really really spicy. It's a milder side. But if somebody wants a spicier one, I can add a little bit of spicier. I can make it a spicier. So I start with the milder one, and depends. I ask depends on the customer. I ask them, and if they want it a spicier, I can make it a spicier. I, I like the way stuff super extra hot, Tim. So your your face is going to get a little redder as this yeah, show. Wait, wait. When he was talking about that, I'm sitting there and I'm like, and he, you can tell he likes spicy because he lit up when you're talking about spicy and everything else. Now with, with this, I guess now you, you, this would be the soup over here. Yes, it is a lentin soups of the day, and uh, it's made up of the like a regular lentins, uh, cooked, steam cooked, and then. Um, Make a put on the spices on it and make a soup out of that one. Yeah, and then and then you spin it around. I, I guess this would be your salad kind of. Yes, it is a salad, cucumber, onions, and the tomatoes and uh, green peppers. Yeah, and so then you can t I mean you can just. T it's like one of the things that we pride ourselves on here at the farmers market is that all these people come here and they make the food fresh. I mean that morning, or they prepare a little bit the day before. And I think just from looking at this, you can just tell. I mean it's it's just it's just perfectly fresh and just made. I mean, so that's something that says a lot about, you know, the vendors that we have come in here and the restaurants we have. I mean, it is something that they take pride in because it's their livelihood and um, they're going to give you the best product they can. And you can just tell by looking at that, it's fresh, it's healthy, it's good, it's different. Um, so the variety is something that we want to have for all types of shoppers and customers that come out. So. I know, I know I'm sitting here looking at that. This is just a display because you display this out so folks can come in here and kind of get an eye and you've got some other displays. Of, of, of different things, but I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm looking and, and saying to myself, as Greg ordered us, us some things, but he said also that you're coming in with, uh, I'm going to just slide this to the side right here, and you got a young lady coming in with some things here for us, and we'll get you to set that right down here. Now, Greg, you were you were raving and raving about, uh, you know, the the drink here. Now, uh, yeah. what, 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 once again, what's this drink called? Mango Lassi. Yeah, now what's in it? It's mango... The mango pulps, sugar, and yogurt. Yeah, that's a, a specialty, specialty tale. And what I want to remind people, Greg, because we always talk about the Newcastle Farmers Market and everything, and you were talking about how they make it fresh and so forth and so on. I want people to understand that most of the businesses, all the businesses out here, I'd say pretty much, the owners are right there on premises. Yeah, I mean, um, most of every store in here is owner-operated, which, you know, there's not somebody somebody who really cares I mean you're, you're gonna get the best service you can and they're gonna treat you right and they're gonna take care of you because they want you to come back I mean it's their livelihood this is what they do um, and you know that says a lot for you know big box stores that you go to and, and places that are just corporate you know mega giant stores whatever you just don't get that personal touch um, and you don't get the quality so you know these guys are um, you know this they take pride in what they do as you can see I mean this food is just made and delicious and you're gonna to have to keep talking so I'm sitting on this mango here and I, I tell you this is very delicious I mean now I know why you because you, you said you've got to come down here and try this mango juice that they do here now uh, I'm gonna get you to come back in here because DC's not here I'm looking at these there now what is this that I'm looking at? this is this is a samosa it's a very favorite in India 
This is made from the green peas and potatoes and the spices. And uh, the outer covering is made from the all-purpose flowers and uh, make the rolls and put the fillings in it and, re and fry, deep fry. Now, I'm sitting here looking at it. Greg's dipping here, so 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 he's he's getting some. Sweet sauce here. Oh, a sweet sauce. Yeah, it's like a, then they have like a cilantro kind of chutney, I guess, um, pureed cilantro, sort of a little bit spicier. So you got little options here, but I mean, if, these are really good. I, I mean, you have to try it. It's something different, but it's just got a lot of. It's just got a lot to it. Yeah, I, I, I hope I get a chance to try because you, yeah, I'm sitting here trying to do interviews and you can't wait. You're, you're eating away and everything. But I want to get this young lady because this is once again a, a, a sweet sauce and, a, and, a, and a, a spicy sauce, I guess. Yes, the spicy sauce is made from the peppers, cilantro, and lemons and salt and uh, lemon juice. And the sweet chutney is made from the little bit of sugar. It's not actual sugar. It's a jaggery. It's called jaggery and. Uh, Tamarind, tamarind, and a jaggery sauce. Yeah, now, now I'm sitting there looking at this because you explain this. Now, what are what are these here that I'm looking at? These are the mixed pakora. It's all mixed vegetables, like uh, grinded, not actually grinded, but grinded crushed peppers and uh, salt, and it is mixed with the chickpeas flowers and deep fried. Now you just. I haven't had these before, so I guess I'll try with. I'm, 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 I'm loving it. Right just in, dip right? it. Dip it in, and right. you can try. I'll try with the sweet sauce first. Yeah, because I'm, I'm looking at these, and they look delicious. I mean, and I, I love vegetables. What kind of vegetables do you put in there? It's the green peppers, cauliflowers, carrots, cilantro, uh, onions. So it's just a mixture of a lot of different yeah, yeah. vegetables. Whatever vegetables you want to, you can add whatever you want to add it to it. Yeah, and, and the nice thing is now, do you make these fresh as, as they're ordered? Yeah, every day. It's and they made buy the as produce here at the farmers market. Yes, and yeah. everything, all the vegetables and everything is buy buy from the producer from the farmers market. All the most of the people's uh, the purchases and everything is done in the farmers market. So you're gonna have to talk for a second. All right. So something so different, but really good. Um, wor worth delicious. a try. That is delicious. You know, it's good to have options out there in the world. You know. Yeah, no, it's, it's um, and you know, if you like it hot, you just tell them, because I think DC can make it hot, so. Well, I, I was going to say, I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm looking, and I see you keep going for this sweet sauce, but I haven't seen you do the green yet. Is, uh, uh, you know. No, I, I have, actually. It's, um, it's like a cilantro. It's not that spicy. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go for the green here, because the sweet sauce is delicious. It really is good. All right. Oh. I'm gonna start. I'm, I'm gonna start eating Indian restaurant. I, I, I'm, yeah. This is, and it's got you know. You deep fry this, yes. so but a lot of vegetables and everything. So you're getting a little bit of health even in the deep fry. You know, type of deal. You know, I want people to know you. You definitely got to come try this. I'm, I've never tried Indian food before. I, I didn't think I would like it because I've always heard of the spicy, and I like spicy food. But this is absolutely delicious. I mean, this is really, really. I could, I could t eat this all day long. Yeah, and um, you know, these guys also cater and do um, you know parties, uh, weddings, and other events for people. So uh, you know, if you're out there and you're looking for something different for a little party they can do that you just come in and get their menu and talk to these uh, talk to these guys about that um, but uh, I love it I think it's great something new and different man I, I, I tell you I haven't got a chance to eat one of these yet so I'm gonna t take a, a quick break and do that and everything and, and drink some of my mango and all that but once again uh, DC thank you so much for letting us come in here and invade your kitchen I should say the mouse masala how do you say masala, masala kitchen Masala Kitchen, yeah, very, very nicely done, guys. I think you're going to be very successful here, and, and, and we wish you well. And uh, I'm, I'm, you got a regular customer here, and I know my uh, cameraman. He's dying because he, you know, he likes the, the Middle East foods and everything. But I got to get him to try some of this Indian food because it's really good. Thank you very much. And, and we're now we're going down, and, and Greg said I got to get some ice cream to go along with it. And I come down here, and this is. Unbelievable! This is what uh, I was talking about. Probably. No, no. You, you said uh, what? What is it? Tacumba ice cream? Yeah, Tacumba ice cream. Um, these guys have been here for you know a couple of years now. <clears throat> they uh, they hand make all their ice cream, uh, and they have a shop not far from here, and they bring it in here f every week fresh. Just made that week, and they have these ice cream bars. This one is pistachio, which is one of my favorites. You can't get these anywhere else. I mean, anywhere else, and they are. Unbelievably delicious. Yeah, you have you, got to try them. You were raving about them as we were walking down through here and the different flavors that they have and stuff. And you pulled out this one, doesn't have a label on it, and then you said, What is that? And they bubble gum. 
Yeah, I mean, some of your traditional flavors, you know, you have, you know, um, chocolate and vanilla, bubble gum, but then you have like these these strawberry ones, and you have pistachio, and you have coconut, and they have rice, and they pina colada, colada, and they have mango, and they're all homemade, fresh made, um, handmade, and they um, do them every week, and they bring them into the market. And their ice cream's all, you know, they have regular ice cream too, and that's all hand dipped, you know, scooped, and they do cones and sundaes, and that's all homemade ice cream that they make every week and bring it in here. Um, and, and, and these things are like something that you may, you probably, if you haven't tried them, you've never tried anything like it, and they're really, really good. There's it's, nothing better than homemade ice cream, you know? Yeah, it's... it's and and they, 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 they make it all up, they wrap it, and they, they bring it in here for you to buy. And like you said, it's the only place in the, in the Newcastle Farmer's Market, it's the only place you can get these. Uh, that's what I was going for. I, I love the brightness. What is this? Kiwi, and it looks like kiwi, yeah. Well, you, you can see the seeds in there, um, and that's the thing. They use fresh, real fruit to make their fruit bars. So they have, like, strawberry, and you're going to get chunks of real strawberry, and then you're going to get chunks of, like, real mango. How about so, the pina coladas? Am I going to get chunks of... Uh, you're not going to get chunks of anything that is going to impair your driving or of any type. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's one of the things. Like, you, like this, like you'll get the, the rice bar, and there's real rice, like, you know, like pudding rice in there or whatever. I don't know exactly what it is, but... I mean, you can just taste it like it's like really homemade, fresh. Different. Yeah, because I'm just looking at the different ones. I mean, you know, and and I got this. I'm I'm sitting here, and this is just what is this? Mixed fruits or yeah, spicy? Spi yeah, yeah. Mix, yeah. A little spicy. Yeah, nice a little hot. Yeah. I never tried that one. Yeah, I, you it's know, too late. yeah, too late, huh? They'll, they'll they'll let you do a little sample with a spoon if you want to come in and try a couple different flavors before you pick one. But uh, yeah, you're you're not you're not gonna find these things anywhere else. And, and they are definitely worth coming in and trying a bar, bring some home. Um, I, I definitely am guaranteeing that you will, you will like these. Yeah, I, I see those folks. They, 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 you, he's saying you got to try these ice cream bars now. You guys got to get some of these. They'll give you a sample over there too. You want one? My treat. Um, She's going to ask for some. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, there's strawberry right there. Um, now these, once you now once you eat one, you're in trouble because you're going to be buying a bunch of them to take home with you because it's it, they, this is all homemade. They, these people make these homemade. The coconut has real coconut chunks in there, okay. so that's really good too. Um, but I recommend everything. Even the simple chocolate is just like a chocolate, not your regular chocolate ice cream. So definitely worth a try. I'm all right, take a chocolate. All right. Then, yeah. Uh, what are you going to have, man? Uh, strawberry. Yeah, you look. I was gonna say you look like a strawberry eater. So now that's gonna have real chunks of strawberry. I want to see you take a bite of it. I want to see you take a bite of it because I want to hear what it's like. Yeah, because they are absolutely. Two more bars. You guys want? Yeah, yeah. That one. What is that one? Strawberries and cream. Can't go wrong with that. I have the pistachio right now. It's delicious. Yeah. Strawberries and cream. What do you want? That's bubble gum. Oh yeah, so. What now? Tell me. It's great. It's, it's awesome. Great. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's not like you're no, it actually tastes like it's strawberries. All natural. Everything all natural. They're all homemade. And they make them every week, and I mean, I'm I'm speaking for the owner, but I just I come here so I know what they do. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But they, now she, she, she wanted the, she wanted the chocolate. She took his strawberry. She ain't giving it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. He stuck with the chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a good chocolate then, right? You guys enjoy. Does that taste like bubble gum? Yes, it does. I like it. Yeah? Can you blow a bubble with it? <laughs> now, you got, to, what did you get? This is strawberries and cream. Yeah, is it good? Big chunks of strawberries. Yeah, that's what I like about it, yeah. I've never had that one. Excuse me, she got the strawberry and cream, so, yeah, yeah. She loved the bubble gum. I believe she's going to eat all that bubble gum and everything. And Greg's eating his pistachio. I'd bite it. Oh, I do. I, I would, too. So, you know, it, it absolutely delicious. You guys got to come down here and try it. I know you guys are going to be back to buy some of these, too. So, it's, it, yeah, very good. Yeah, we got any business here. We, she's got some over there. We're going to run down real quick and show you. Oh, no, we're not. We're out of time, Greg, so. 
Yeah, we're out of time, so we're going to have to wrap things up you as you. Do you have a yeah, as we're doing this. Thank you for stopping by, and uh, if you're interested in okay. anything, let me remind you: Newcastle Farmers Market located on Route 13, 273, right there across the street from the Newcastle County Airport. Open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday and Saturday, nine to nine. Sunday, ten to six. Don't forget about the Dutch sections. Only open Friday and Saturday, so visit it all and definitely stop by and get some ice cream. And I'd let Greg yeah. say goodbye. So I'm telling you, thanks a lot, everyone. Don't don't forget NewcastleFarmersMarket.com, and that has all our uh, good information on there for you folks. And uh, we'll see you at the market. Thank you.